and welcome back. My name is Cheryl, and I'm the owner and dyer behind Essence of Autumn Yarn. This is part two of my last video, A Dyed Yarn's Journey, where I take you behind the scenes and show how I prepare orders for my customers. So sit back and relax and enjoy as I share my favorite part, adding color to the yarn. The colors shown are just a few of the colors available from my website, Essence of Autumn Yarn. I have over 30 colors, so there is something suitable for just about any project you would have in mind. And they're available as either ready to ship or dyed to order. Washing the yarn is a very important part of the dyeing process because it gets rid of any excess dye that wasn't absorbed by the yarn or acid mordant. The acid mordant is what actually sticks the dye to the fibers along with heat. So if that's not washed out, it leaves the yarn feeling crispy and hard and nobody wants that feeling in their yarn. So washing it, it makes the yarn feel soft and it also makes it smell really good. When I dye yarn, I prefer the colors to be very rich and saturated. So in order to do that, I use a lot of dye. But the yarn will only absorb so much. So it's not uncommon that there will be some excess dye that doesn't fully get absorbed into the yarn. So when customers wash it, from time to time they will see a little bit of bleeding and that is perfectly normal. There's nothing to worry about. It's just the excess dye that I didn't get out in the washing process and that bit of bleeding will stop after a few washes.
I love using hang tags as labels, but when you're tying hundreds of these tags at a time, it can be very time consuming and it really hurts the hands too. So recently I have changed to belly bands and even though I prefer the look of tags, the belly bands really has saved me a lot of time and it just makes sense to make that change. So if you look on my Instagram, all of my new yarn has got the belly bands so you can take a look there and see how they look. My Instagram handle is Essence of Autumn. a yarn care sheet with every order with instructions on how to care for garments made with hand dyed yarn as well as practical information on what these yarns are suitable for and just how to get the best out of hand dyed yarn. Shipping is calculated by the size of the box and by the weight of the contents, so understandably that's going to vary depending on how much is in each order. But I do have some standard rates for shipping. So orders over $100, I offer free shipping for Canada and the US only. Orders over $50 ship for $10. Again, that is in Canada and the US. And orders under 50 ship for $15 in Canada and $20 in the US. I also offer international shipping and regardless of the amount, it's $20 and there's no tracking included with that. Tracking is included for all orders shipped in Canada and the US. And if you are outside of either of those areas and you would like your package to be tracked, then it is $60 for that. I'm excited to bring you some tutorials for the next few videos. I will be demonstrating how to knit this hat and cowl set. This is a free pattern on my website and on Ravelry. So go ahead and download that in preparation so that you can work along with me. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, share and comment on any of my videos. And if you'd like to be notified of upcoming videos, then of course, subscribe. Thanks again and until next time.